Have you ever wondered how you can build a fully featured chat application? Similar as we have it here where we have a channel for cool kids and we can write messages as well as adding files and things like GIFs. With the sponsor of this video being Stream, we are going to learn how we can use that to build a messaging app in a matter of minutes. In a combination of this video, they are actually having a product launch right now at Product Hunt. So head over in the link in the description and make sure to upvote it. They are doing some amazing things for the community and even have a free version that everyone can use. So before we begin, head over to the link in the description, go to Product Hunt, make sure to upvote and let's get into it. So something that you provide is a kit that you can use in your application to construct all of the UI that you want. So just taking a look at their Figma, we can see that they provide a bunch of cool little things. We have a screen where they show examples of how you can use it in your real applications. If we head over to components, we can see all of the components they provide. So they provide things like theming, icons, messages, bars, inputs and so on. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. But enough of this, let's go ahead and head into the code. Before we get started here, head over to the PubSpec YAML and we're going to add the dependency for the Stream SDK. This is the only dependency we need to get everything up and running. So here we have a super basic main.dart file with the main method. I've gone ahead and added the imports as well as making the main method asynchronous and I will get into that. First off, we're going to need our API key as well as our user token. To get all the info necessary to actually create the application, you can head over to the GetStream website and sign in with your GitHub account. When you have signed in, you will get to the dashboard where you will find all of the relevant information that you will need. So of course, over at the Stream website, they have a generator for getting that token. You just pass the secret, which is in your dashboard, as well as the user ID that you're going to use, and in this case, Robert Brunage. Be aware you can hide this with something like Dart Define, but this is just to make everything as simple and understandable as possible. So first off, we're going to initialize a stream chat client with the API key that we defined earlier. Here you can as well set the log level, and we're just going to use the level.info. Here we have the reason why we have the method a asynchronous method, because we're going to await when we actually connect the user. So we create a user instance as well as passing the user token to the connect user method. When we generated a token on the website, we actually did it with a ID. So that ID was Robert Brunage. So we're going to use that. I'm also going to provide a image for the extra data for that user, which is going to be a logo coming from our website. The next thing is that we're going to create a channel. We're going to have the type as messaging and there are a bunch of different types. You can find that in the documentation as well as a ID for the channel, which is going to be cool kids. We can provide some extra data in this case. That would be the name the channel will use as well as the image the channel will use. The next thing we're going to do is just make sure that we're going to watch the channel, meaning that we will listen to all of the channel updates. And that is actually all the setup we have to do. Now we can actually go ahead and call run app and then pass the my app. For the my app, we are going to pass the client as well as the channel that we created earlier. So if we scroll up, we can see that we have a client as well as we have the channel. After we have made sure that we have both of them, we're going to pass them to my app. So let's create my app first and we're going to define our two properties, which is going to be the stream chat client as well as the channel. Of course, don't forget to add the constructor so we can actually pass them down. Now we can go ahead, of course, to add the build method as well as the material app. Now inside the builder of this material app, we're going to return the stream chat, which here requires the client. So let's go ahead and pass the client as well as the child. Now, of course, we can theme the app. So I will just add a very basic theme I added it here just to make it simpler and easier for you to see what I actually did, which was just changing the accent color of the theme and as well as making it a dark mode. Now we can go ahead and pass that to the stream chat theme data with the stream chat theme data dot from theme. That will just make sure that I have my red branding color for the actual application. So for home, we're going to add stream channel, which comes from the dependency of stream as well as inside this, we're going to have the channel 
as well as our custom widget that we're going to have for showing all of our content. We're just going to call it channel page. So let's go ahead and create our channel page. And now the actual magic begins. And before we show the application, I'm just going to give it a scaffold. So we don't actually show an error in the application. And if we just look at that, we have the dark background there. And now we can start using those widgets that we get from stream. So for the app bar, we will use a channel header. And as you can see, we have the cool kits as well as the icon for my channel. We can see that the background here is red and that is used because we have the accent color of that red. Of course, we're just going to hide the back button because we don't really need it here. So now we're just going to provide a body. In this case, we'll use a column. For the first child, we're going to use a expanded and a message list view coming from the package. And now taking a look here, we can see that the message list view will take up the full content of the body. And at the bottom of the column, we're just going to add a message input. And this will just make it possible for us to actually send messages. So now the message list view will take up the full amount of space that it can as it has been expanded. And the bottom will just have the message input. And as you can see right now, we can already write our messages and everything is synced to the server. We can even see the timestamp of when I actually sent the messages. We can also of course add files as well as some cool GIFs. So let's see if we can find a cool GIFs for us. We'll just search cool. And look right away we found a cool GIF. So let's go ahead and send that too. But of course that is not all you can do. But we can look at the broader aspect by going into the dashboard. From the dashboard we can go ahead and go to our application. We see the options menu and we can head over to the chat explorer. Here we can see things like channels and users. If we head over to users, we can see me, where I have the role of admin and a bunch of other metadata. And of course, if we go to channels, we can see the cool kids channel and all of the data regarding that channel. We can also see the members. In this case, the M members is empty because I was just an admin writing in chat. We can also see the messages. Now, this is pretty cool because this is all the messages that have been sent in that channel. And we can see all of my four messages as one of them is as well a Giphy. And you can do a bunch of more things like pinning messages and so on. Now, of course, this is scratching the surface of what you can actually do with stream. And of course, as they have a free tier, I heavily just recommend you to just check it out and test it for yourself. And of course, as they are building that amazing product, make sure to go to the description, head over to Product Hunt and make sure to upvote. So now, of course, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And while I'm waiting for you to upvote our product hunt, I will just leave some videos down here that you can check out afterwards. And I will see you in the next one.